Ciao everyone, Beth from Thimblehooks back again. I was going to run to Hobby Lobby really quick today because everything was 30% off of yarn. On my way to Hobby Lobby, I passed a Joann's. Whoopsie. I didn't need anything specifically. I never do uh, when I just pop in. I usually take it a, a special trip to go and get what I need um, when I have a project. And I didn't do that today. I just popped in and I found a little bit of clearance. So I'm excited to see that. Uh, I'm going to show you what I found on the clearance rack. There was hardly any clearance, clearance left, but I'm really excited about what I did find. I've never used this one before. This is awesome. Everything I got today was Lion Brand. And they were, uh, I had clearance stuff here. I got Lion Brand Ice Cream Deluxe. It's like a velvet. I've never seen this one before. I don't know how I how I may have missed it. I like the other Lion Brand ice creams. They're really fine. This, however, is a sick super bulky, and it's like the velvet. And I really haven't worked with the velvets too much, but this one isn't quite as fuzzy. So I thought it would be something I can make something really fun out of. I don't know what. I only have one, so it's going to be something tiny as usual. But there's one, and it's really cute. I'll have a picture of it up for you so you can see all the beautiful colors that are all swirled together but again lion brand very nice always have good product and I got these were on clearance I've never used a softball before however they were on clearance and we had all of the colors of the rainbow and that inspired me a lot to do something really fun and stripey with all of the colors. Don't know what it'll be yet, but I'll, I will design something that will be awesome. And they want me to use, this is a five bulky, and they want me to use a nine millimeter hook, which of course I have a nine millimeter hook. It seems kind of like a big hook for a five, but I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna come up with, come up with really, something really fun. And I'm sure it'll be a scarf of some kind because it's not enough to make a blanket but it's definitely enough to make like a super scarf, a really long super scarf or a super wide scarf. So that excites me. And then I've always wanted one of these and it happened to be on sale. A cover story. One, what's this? A 2.2 2 pounds, a kilogram, 547 yards, and you're supposed to be able to make one blanket out of this whole skein with a nine millimeter hook. It's a super bulky, you can see super super thick this is going to be awesome so everybody's probably seen this at a store if you go to any place that does michael's or or the joann's or any place that has this product you probably looked at it and gone i don't know it's kind of it's kind of expensive and it's kind of big i don't know i'm going to make exactly what the pattern says so everybody can see what happens when you get one of these see how big it is see what stitch they want me to use it's gonna be really great but then I went to Hobby Lobby on purpose because they had 30% off of all their yarn so we ended up with the yarn B sugar wheel cotton solid that's kind of hard to say and they just call this one velvet violet it's just a really nice purple I got two of these and it wants a four and a half millimeter, four and a half millimeter hook is all. It's not real, it's not real thick. It's pretty thin yarn, so it's going to be good. And it's 100% cotton. So there's my purples. There's the gray. And this one is called Overcast. I figured that's a perfect name for gray, Overcast. And even they even get fancy with the black. It's called Inkjet two of those and white isn't just white either it's called snow capped yay so that is my project for my daughter I'm going to make her a pocket scarf and she wants another one she has a couple of pocket shawls or shawls or whatever it is that she wants to call them but she wants a big pocket scarf when I told her what I was going to be making she goes well I want one and I want these colors so I said, okay well I'll make it for you in those colors so there you go there's only one lonely yarn be big and it's in clay. It's actually kind of a red. I'm going to open it. It wasn't open or anything. No one's touched it yet. So I'm going to try to get a little tiny smidge out of here without damaging it because this is really delicate stuff. 
can see it's really wide, it's very soft, it's like a cotton ball, super soft. You can see like that, it's just crazy. I only have one, so I'm not sure what I can make with it. But I could resist it for 75% off on clearance, so it's mine now, it lives at my house, and it gets to join the rest of my yarn stash. So I'll figure out something for it someday, but it might just hang out for a while. These are all Yarn B. This one is Yarn B Effortless, super bulky. So this is going to want at least a 10, yeah, this one's a 10 hook, 10 millimeter hook, nice and thick. This will crochet up really fast. It's super soft. It's amazingly soft. So I thought I could make something. All right. We got four. So I was looking at the yard and just kind of going quickly through my head, thinking, well, I think I could make a cardigan or something out of this, because this is a great color. It's called Mossy Acre. And he said, well, this is a great green. It's not bright green, it's just a, it's just a good, good everyday kind of green. You can wear this all the time. So that's what I thought I would do with that one. He's really good at picking out colors. So I like that one very much. I wanted to use this product to make my daughter's super scarf, her pocket scarf, but they did not have black. They don't have black in the alpaca twist, but this is Yarn B Alpaca Twist. And what color do they call this one? Mustard. That's exactly what I would call it. It's just an awesome shade of gold, goldy yellow. It's great. I love this one. I could not resist it. Looks like, but I've never used the their alpaca twist before. So I got four of those where I can make something nice and make a sweater or something since it's getting into that season. I got two more colors. Still the alpaca twist. It was just it was just a nice product. I haven't used it before and I just felt inspired. And this one is it's just called purple. I really thought there would be something more intriguing than just purple since it's a it's almost a periwinkle kind of lavendery kind of thing. I thought they would have a better better fancy name, but it's just called purple. And again, they want it's a four medium, so the and they want me to use a six and a half millimeter hook. I'm gonna give that a try and see if I like it. Yeah, I've I hadn't seen this one before and I just love this color. This one is Yarn B. Romantique. Oh, that's a cute name. And again, I would thought this would have a fancier name. It's just called clay. It doesn't look like clay to me. It's kind of a brownish copper. It's like copper. It's a coppery color. And I just thought that was very intriguing. And they want, again, this is a five bulky and it's kind of fuzzy. They want me to use a six and a half millimeter hook, which I will. I'll give it a try. I just thought the colors were too intriguing and too exciting. And they look just so autumn. They look so autumn and fall and wintry colors for me. And I'm going to be done with uh, probably going to the store for a little while, maybe. I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't promise, so I probably won't go back. But anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.